know opioids like fentanyl are addictive and often deadly. Powerful drugs with the ability to change the way our brains work. But exactly how remains a mystery. We have a remarkably underdeveloped understanding of what these drugs are actually doing in the brain. Sam Golden and his team of scientists at the University of Washington are researching fentanyl addiction. The Golden Lab is one of about two dozen labs nationwide getting government money to fight the opioid epidemic at the cellular level. His team recently got $3.8 million from the National Institutes of Health. Getting this grant was, uh, was very exciting, um, but it, it also really, you know, it, it's daunting because it's not a what if grant. It is a right now there is a problem grant and what can we do to help end or at least offset this opioid epidemic. The stuff they're doing here is complicated and delicate science analyzing mice behavior during fentanyl addiction and looking at what happens inside the brain. The hope is that one day all this preclinical work will lead to therapies that are less addictive and more personalized. If we think about the people in our lives who might be affected by substance use, uh, they're all different if we're going to find really good therapeutic interventions. And uh, a challenge to doing that in the past is when we've done our preclinical work in mice, it's been far too time consuming and also subjective. That's where artificial intelligence comes in. Sam's team developed a computer program to analyze mice behavior, and it's a game changer. With the advent of machine learning tools, that have allowed us to automate this process of scoring every single frame of every single video, the different strategies that they use to seek out the drug, the different strategies that they use during relapse to drug. When we image, the light sheet is going to go directly through the tissue this way. Sam's team also developed a way to make each mouse brain transparent. Okay, so I'm just moving the sample. We'll increase our laser power. Then using lasers, they can map the entire brain in 3D using computer software. 3D reconstruction will take like 40 minutes. Each dot you see here, a neuron that's turned on during a specific behavior. Technology allowing them to analyze the brain unlike ever before. As opposed to doing a 2D slicing of our brain. The combination of neuroscience and tech is promising. Right now it can take years to get new therapeutics developed and on the market. I'd say the majority of the major pharma companies that do neuropsychiatric drug development have essentially bowed out. Uh, it's not worth their money. Despite the challenge, these UW scientists are laser focused, doing their part to fight America's growing opioid crisis. The reality is we don't understand at even the most fundamental levels how these drugs are causing addiction and relapse. And until we do, we won't have a lasting and consequential way of fighting it. I should note the grant money they received for their fentanyl research is over the course of five years. Also the name of the artificial intelligence platform they developed there is called Simba and it recently got nationwide attention with an article published in the journal Nature Neuroscience. So Joyce, a lot of people taking notice of the work they're doing there at UW across the country. Which could have just incredible impact. What makes this type of AI so unique? Well, it's obviously very hard to research behavior. It can be very nuanced and tedious. And so this program they developed really speeds things up. But what scientists are so excited about is that this allows them to duplicate experiments about behavior in other labs across the country. And so this is really a game changer for uh, the behavioral research field and analysis. And so it can just really speed things up and allow them to do a whole lot more. Can't wait to see what they come up with. Oh yeah. Jessica, thank you.